hello and welcome to all my new and existing subscribers thank you very much in this video we're going over edexcel igcse ict paper one from may 2019 and we're up to question four now for questions one to three please see previous videos that are linked to at the end i've also created a playlist for this so let's jump straight into this and um, we're up to 4a so ruined search was for online for local sporting events so a ruin evaluates the fitness for purpose of the search results complete this table to show how each property can negatively affect the fitness for purpose of information so i've got three marks here I've got three properties, bias, age and reliability, and I need to give a response for each. So bias means one-sided. So so these results will be one-sided. Okay so may not have full information so one point of view you wouldn't really need to write this much but i'm just making a point here so it's one point of view one mark okay age well that's the age of the information so information may be out of date you can check the age of pages we're up to a point now where some information on the internet is a couple of decades old at least so it's most definitely will be out of date reliability so information may not match other sources reliable means you can trust it so if you're using that for a GCSE project you need to double check that with other sources and if it doesn't match up it's like that one one or the other is lying one or the other isn't truthful isn't reliable so you shouldn't use it so 4A2, which one of these is another property of information that affects fitness for purpose? The only correct answer here is D, relevance. 3, which one of these would improve the ranking of a search result? The only correct answer here is D, sponsored adverts. 4B, explain why Ruin must consider his use of keywords when using a search engine. Now, what this is, the, the correct answer here is we are matching keywords to websites. Okay, so exam tip here, you must match, you must mention matching keywords to websites. So your answer here is a search engine matches keywords one mark to websites so related websites two marks so you can find more relevant websites 4c zara enters the same search term as ruin but receives different results explain why Zara received different results now there's loads you could write for this absolutely loads you could write for this but explanations such as well Zara's results are personalized so they're based on based on her cookies that little text file that you all have on your computer of your searches they will be personalized okay that would gain you that would gain you two marks or you could say um, different search engines 
sorry, different search engines return different results. Use different filters, one mark. And return different results. It also depends on, it hasn't said, so exam tip there, it hasn't said what country they're in. We don't know, then they might not be in the same room, might not be in the same house, they might not be in the same country, they might also be speaking to each other online. Um, different countries return different search results based on the politics of the country, how things are censored. So don't make an assumption there that they're in the same the same country. They may be able to return different results because of the countries that they're in. For D, now this is all about protocols. Protocols are the rules of data communication on the internet. And the only correct answer here is B. Because the rest are not protocols. For E, describe how MAC addresses can be used to prevent access to networks. MAC stands for Media Access Control, and you're not maybe expected to memorize that for your exam, but you will be expected to understand what that is. It's a unique address, each piece of hardware that accesses the network has got. So the hardware, hardware has got its own unique address. So for example, your iPhone, your your smartphone, whatever it is, it's got a unique address. So we started off with this by saying every device has a unique address. The device is identified on the network by this address. Going to be two marks. Now, exam tip, exam tip here. A lot of students only got to two marks because they didn't mention that the firewall can track can check these addresses against any potential blacklists. So devices can be banned or removed, prevented access to a network through the list of MAC addresses that are not allowed to access the network. So for my third mark there, to get three marks for this, to max out my marks here, I need to say that the firewall can prevent access to the network for certain addresses. So on a specific list, um, it can prevent access for that particular device. And that's how I gain three marks for this question. Now, here we've got an eight marker, and it needs you to write, and write quite a bit for this. Now, let's just do an exam tip here. Candidates failed to gain marks from the higher mark bands when they listed what services can do and the causes of the gap rather than the impact on the gap. So I'm looking at cloud-based services and the impact on the gap between the information rich and the information poor. Okay, now another exam tip here. Some people did not understand that information rich and information poor isn't the same as being wealthy or not having much money, wealthy or poor. It is access to information. You could be quite a rich person, maybe you're an older person, but you don't have access to information. Maybe you're a bit of a technophobe, you, you don't maybe even use the internet. It's not like you're poor, you can't afford it, but you just don't use it. So you're information poor. Okay, so there, there is a difference. And those students who did well in this question realized that. So this question is looking at something that we used to call the digital divide. And it's people who have access to the inf inf information and people who don't. Information rich and the information poor. Cloud-based services, anything that is stored online. So it's, it's your social media, it's all your files stored online. Anything where you save it to a server and not your own computer, it's cloud-based. What that means is it's saved on someone else's server, wherever that may be. Now here I've got um, up here some, some potential responses to this. It's eight marks. So to get eight marks, what you need to be doing is provide clear evidence of analysis. And you must have an explanation of not the internet, but cloud-based services. Okay. So... <laughs> 
analyze how the use of cloud-based services impact impacted on the gap between the information rich and the information poor. Now, the availability of services is far reaching. Um, nowadays, remote islands, locations can be reached by the internet and those people on those islands can access cloud services. In developed countries, we have very, very fast internet connections and a lot of people can afford to have an internet connection. In other countries, it, it is less so. People cannot afford to have the internet. It isn't as developed. There is weaker broadband and in some cases, it's almost non-existent. So the availability of services restricted to those with access to the internet. You need access to the internet to access cloud services. So because of cloud services, knowledge can be easily shared. So using the internet, we can easily share knowledge. We can share ideas. You can watch this YouTube video on how to answer these questions, for example. So knowledge, that knowledge can be shared much more easily. More learning opportunities thanks to VLEs and MOOCs. VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment, which is what some schools have. They have Moodles, they have um, internet that is available in their school, intranet, that they can share resources. MOOC is Massively Open Online Course. So it's quite easy for you to take courses. There's websites that offer that, offer the ability to take courses. They're usually relatively inexpensive. Some are free where you can share information and people can learn online. They can learn how to program in Python, for example. So because of that, we've got much more learning opportunities which are not available to people without access to the internet. So it's making the, the gap wider between information rich, the people that can take these courses, that can share these resources, information poor, the people that cannot. So the gap is widening due to that digital divide. The gap can na be narrowed by access, cheaper access, more affordable access to the internet. So that is one way to narrow the gap making these devices cheaper, making them simpler, more affordable to access the internet and access hosted applications. An exam tip with this, you must, you must describe cloud services, not just access to the internet in general. The internet in general can provide so many different things. But we're talking about cloud services here and it's access on the information rich and the information poor. You must think about the words rich and poor. It is not economics, not down to money, it's down to information. And there's people who have plenty of access to information and people who don't. The information rich, you have lots of access to the information and the information poor who do not. To gain the top mark band here, you must be talking about the impact on the gap. So what impact does this have on the gap? So the gap is widening because people don't have inexpensive access or they cannot physically cannot access the internet. So they cannot access VLEs. They cannot access the courses that are available online. So they remain information poor. They cannot access news, for example other people can so they, they 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 haven't got that access to the information that other people have information is very very valuable in the 21st century it's all about 21st century is all about information now and having access to that is going to make you it's, it's going to give you an advantage over people who don't have access to the information. It's just as simple as that. So this question is looking at the impact on the gap between the information rich and the information poor. So listed here in this PowerPoint is uh, some of the impacts on there, which you need to put in your answer. 
Anyway, a big thank you for watching. Big thank you for getting this far. We have got one more question to do next week, and then we've covered the whole of the May 2019 paper. Thanks for watching.